Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is the most powerful feature of Adobe Bridge. All right, most people will think about Adobe Bridge as an image viewing program and that's it. But it has something really powerful and that's being able to look inside subfolders. Operating systems have not advanced at all in however many years. They're still looking at one folder at a time. To look into two folders, you have to open two windows. To be able to look inside multiple locations and copy multiple locations requires uh, something like bridge or scripting from some kind of guy like Bertram Guilfoyle. It's not magic, it's talent and sweat. But not me. What's the issue? The issue here is I've got a whole bunch of folders and I want to be, ac be able to access the video file that's in every single one of the folders without having to open them and copy them and move them. Let's go have a look. So although we have, there's a browser view in OS 10, there really is no difference other than, you know, the same thing. You open up a folder, you open up a folder, that's the file I want. You go back all the way out or you do this. Go over here, that's the file. Go over here, that's the file. Over and over and over again. I want to see every single MXF video file that's in these subfolders. So let's jump into Adobe Bridge. We've navigated to the same place. And in the view menu, before I show you this, do not do this to the root directory of your computer and do not do this to the root directory of a server with millions of files because it's slow. It's going to look at every file and read it. So in the view menu, show items from subfolders of that clips folder. As soon as I do, everything shows up. So there's a lot of things inside here, but the ones I want are these video files. Well, if you go to the filter on the left-hand side, this filter type is based on what's showing on the right-hand side. And oh, look at that, MXF, 38 of them. I'll click on this, and now I've highlighted. That alone is pretty darn amazing. It's like I went into 38 folders, and I've got them all ready, and now I want to do something to them. Well, if you use the collections feature in Adobe Bridge, we can save this. It's almost like an uber smart selection. Let's go have a look. Now we have to select these first so you can drag select all of them that way or choose to select all, control A, command A. Now that they're all selected, in the collections down at the bottom, if you click here, new collection, it's going to ask you include the selected files in the collection. Absolutely, yes do. And we'll call this MXF videos. And now they are, they're available at any time in the collection. If we go back out to my demo folder and we go back in here, it's the same one. I didn't have to go and find all of them and even move their location. Because you know what, sometimes if you get a card and, they're, and they, they come in as a, uh, a camera card with the files in the folders, you shouldn't mess with them. But this is a way to kind of peek around that and grab those files. Maybe I wanted to copy those out and put them somewhere else. Maybe I just want to see a certain file format in, you know, a folder full of maybe 5,000 things. Let's go look at that. So I'll open up this folder. Same thing, view, show items from subfolders. It's generating the thumbnails down. There's 5,868 items in this folder. Let's go back over to the filter. It's building their criteria. The, this is the criteria of all of the stuff inside there. Oh, there's the 19 QuickTime files I want out of almost 6,000 files. Click on them, select them, go back to my collections, make a new collection. Yes. We call these my QuickTime movies. There's my MX5 videos. There's my QuickTime movies. They're all in multiple locations across my computer, but Bridge knows exactly where they are. I can select them all, copy. I can open another window. You can do a lot of regular file operations you would do normally on your desktop in the Mac Finder or a Windows Explorer. You can do that right inside Bridge with a heck of a lot more power than any operating system out there. 
All right, hopefully you found that very useful. If you have, then you know what? Take a moment and subscribe to us on Video Revealed. And thanks to everyone for your wonderful support, great comments. Every single day I get up, get downstairs in my studio and start going through all of the comments and I really appreciate it. I love when you guys keep me on my toes, so I appreciate that. Um, if you uh, want to take your support up to the next level, then join us on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you and your files looking their best.